Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Phoenix Faucets Hybrid RV Bathroom Faucet here on our 2010 Forest River Flagstaff Classic Super Light Travel Trailer. So if your bathroom faucet has just stopped working or maybe it's just kind of getting corroded and just doesn't really look the best and doesn't really match the aesthetics of your trailer anymore, the Phoenix Faucets Hybrid RV Bathroom Faucet may be the right solution for you. This faucet has a two-handle design one for your hot and one for your cold. It comes in a brushed nickel or a chrome finish so that you can match the aesthetics of your trailer. And the inlet shanks itself are made of brass instead of plastic like a lot of RV trailers are. So it's gonna help you out because it's not gonna have those threads kinda get chewed up when you're trying to screw on your connections like some of those plastic ones will. This faucet has a low flow aerator on it that only has a 1.5 gallon per minute rating. And what that means is it's not going to blow through your water tank super quickly. It's going to give you just the right amount that you need to wash your hands, brush your teeth, or do anything that you might need to while in your RV. Installation of this faucet is going to be super simple. The hardest part really is just going to be getting up in there to screw on your water connections just because RV manufacturers don't typically give you enough room to really get in there and work. So here's our neighbor's current faucet. As you can see, it's kind of getting worn out. The finish on it's kind of getting ruined and it's just nothing that you can really clean off. It just kind of happens over time. Buildup kind of gets on there and eats through it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and replace it. To replace that, there are two fittings down below that are just a screw on fitting. So we will have to get under the sink, which pretty tight space, especially in campers just like this, where you really just have this really, really tiny cabinet. But should be su uh, super simple. We're just going to unscrew those off and we'll be able to plop our old faucet off. So here's the fittings I'm talking about. These just simply screw on. This is typically going to be what you're going to find on any kind of faucet like that. Um, with these, they are plastic. You shouldn't have to really use any tools to get them on and off, but they may be a little bit tighter than your hand can handle at first. But you do want to be real careful. If you use like channel locks or anything like that, it can kind of start to mar up that uh, connection point and then you're not going to be able to really get it uh, on there properly and you can end up having a leak. So here's a little bit of a uh, view of what I was talking about. Here's that little connection point really it just screws on. So we can go ahead and get our cold water inlet out and then we can start unscrewing our faucet. If you look at those two inlets there's these black rings that are around it that are also going to have that same kind of uh, little tabs on it that you can kind of grip onto and unscrew it. So you're just going to have to take those off and then you can lift your faucet up, up out of the sink. Now that I have this one off, I'm going to take off the other one and then we can remove our faucet. With both rings removed, we can lift up our faucet and then you can see both those water inlets. Now the next step is going to be measuring your sink's uh, water inlet holes. Ours today is spaced four inches apart center to center, so we know we need to get a faucet that is four inches center to center or if we have a single inlet faucet where it's got the two hoses coming out we just need to make sure that we can cover both of these holes with the little dash plate that kind of goes over that and lets the single stack faucet sit in place now one thing before uh, we go ahead and do that is there is a little plug on the back you can pull that out and if your sink does have a drain plug you can go ahead and run that rod right through there and link it up to your drain plug but if you don't then you can just keep that little plug in place and just ignore that for now but as far as installation goes you are going to have to stick on your little plastic gasket here now it does only go one certain way there's a rounded edge and a more kind of bumped out edge and that's going to be going towards the back of it and then also you'll see that it's kind of raised up on one side that side is going to be the one that goes on facing towards the faucet and the flatter side is going to be facing down on the sink. From there, we're going to have two rubber gaskets and our uh, screw-on nuts that are going to have these little plastic ends on it to kind of give you a grip to get it on there. We're going to go ahead and put the flat side against our nuts, and then we're going to put this rigid side up against the faucet. So we'd slip that on, and then screw on a little nut here. And then as you tighten this up on the sink, it's going to get this faucet nice and tight up against the actual sink itself. That way it doesn't wiggle or kind of glide around on there. But we're gonna go ahead and start putting this in right now. It's a little bit tight, so I just wanted to give you a nice kind of demonstration beforehand. Get 
that set. And I usually do this about 99% of the way while I'm tightening it down. And then I come up and I look and I make sure that I have this exactly where I want it because you can end up kind of having it over a little bit too much and you don't really have it centered. So I'm gonna tighten that up. All right, now that I've got it kind of adjusted to where I need it to be, I'm gonna finish tightening this up. Go to the other side. Got our water line in the way. All right, nice and tight. Now we can go ahead and hook up our water lines. My last one now, I think I got this fully tight. One thing you can do after you're done tightening this up is just put a paper towel or some newspaper under there and kind of let it sit under there for a few times of usage and then you can see if anything kind of drips down because it'll kind of crinkle up the paper towel or newspaper if there is any drips. Now we have our water lines hooked up, we can go ahead and test it out. And we're all good. So with everything working properly and no drips out of our water lines, that'll do it for our installation of the Phoenix Faucets Hybrid RV Bathroom Faucet here in our 2010 Forest River Flagstaff Classic Superlight Travel Trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.